Ao Senior National High School 7 Moving Up Ceremony with the theme K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Let us pay tribute as we sing our Philippine National Anthem, Prayer, Davao Regional Hymn, Tayo Davao School Hymn, and the Deped Quality Policy Statement. Sang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magibiu, pero sa sila kanan, alam ng puso sa dito ko ibuhay. Tuwang binilang, tuyang kanang magiting sa mandurupi, di ka pasisigil sa nagatap tutok sa simula sa nadin ko pangal. Espiritu Santo. Amen. Panginoon, pinupuri at sinasamba ka namin. Salamat sa panibagong araw na ipinagkaloob mo. Salamat sa mga biyaya na patuloy mong binibigay. Salamat sa pagkakataong ito na kami ay muling matuto. Patawarin niyo po kami sa aming pagkakasala at pagkukulang. Tulungan niyo po kami na magkaroon ng bukas na isip at puso upang lubos namin maunawaan ang aming mapapakinggan sa araw na ito. Diyan po kami ng karunungan ng sa ganun ay magamit namin ang mga ito sa aming buhay. Salamat po muli at ikaw nawa ay maluwalhati sa lahat ng aming gawain na aming matatagumpayan. Makagagahom na Diyos, salamat sa kaayo o kanindot sa imong binuhat. Salamat sa oportunidad na kami makaamuma sa kalibutan na imong gibuhat alang kanamo. Nangamuyo kami na imo kaming lamdagan sa imong balaan na espiritu o kami mahimong magmalikon sa pagpadayon sa imong misyon dini sa kalibutan. Panalangini ang imong komunidad na mahimong magmalikon sa pagpadayon sa pag-amuma sa among kabatan unan giyahi usab ang mga mulangkob na mga personahe sa eskwelahan mga mamumuo ug magtutudlo na kanunay kaming makabaton ug kahimsog sa panlawas diha sa pagserbisyo sa among mga estudyante na bendisyonis sila na magmalahutayon sa pagtuon Huwag alang sa ilang maayong kaugmaon. Ginoo, iya sa plano o pagpaambit sa matag usa ka namo, giyahi kami, pinagi sa imong balaan na espiritu, huwag ubani kami sa kamatuuran. Amen. Ang 
kong halaking taas Haring agilan na sud mong langgang Waling-waling hanas sa kamulakan May ulawan ng haring durya Lubi ang saging rugas na bian Yutang himahal sa gawawenyo Makugi ho mga tao Ang milang ko mga probinsya Mga dakbayan na kahiusa May gituuhan nga Diyos Davao de Oro, Davao Oriental Del Norte Occidental, Del Sur Siyudad sa Davao, Panabutagong Sa Mal Island, Mati Ubigos Davao Region, di Panalipdan Mga Bahandi, Kinaiyahan Yutang Tabunok, Daghan ang Lindot Nga kapanilabuhian Garbo sa tanan ng Davao Region Among yutang at di panggap Sana kung ibog ng Mindanao May isang lungsod na hinirang Ang likas niyang kayamanan Ay walang kapantay Mga bundok, tagat lupain Laging sanana sa pagkain At ang magagandang tanawin Kaduan ang aliw Mutiya lungsod ng Dabaw Sa iyong paglalakbay Sa miting kaularan Ikaw ay pagtilingkuran Tayo'y Dabawin Kaluwalhatian mo lungsod ng paraiso Mutya lungsod ng dapat sa iyong paglalakbay Sa iting kaularan, ikaw ay pagtilingkuran Tayo'y dabawin nyo Kaluwalhatian mo lungsod ng paraiso Pangarap ay mata mo Kaluwalhatian mo lungsod ng paraiso
the quality policy statement of the Department of Education. The Department of Education is committed to provide learners with quality basic education that is accessible, inclusive, and liberating through proactive leadership, shared governance, evidence-based policies, standards, and programs, responsive and relevant curricula, highly competent and committed officials, and teaching and non-teaching personnel, an enabling learning environment. The department upholds the highest standards of conduct and performance to fulfill stakeholders' needs and expectations by adhering to constitutional mandates, statutory and regulatory requirements, and sustains client satisfaction through continuous improvement of the quality management system. To our distinguished guests, to our school administrators, to our beloved principal, Dr. Roberto R. Binag, dynamic teachers and staff, our dear parents, and to my fellow completers, a pleasant morning to all of you, and welcome to the moving up ceremony of Gargonia Tau Senior National High School for the school year 2021-2022. Today, I am so thankful, first and foremost, to our God Almighty for giving us this day as we partake this one of the most valuable events of our lives. I also want to express my wholehearted gratitude, not only to my parents and teachers, but also to the Pantawid Pamilyang Filipino Program, which helped learners like me to fulfill my studies and provide for my needs in school. I am here in front of you as one of the completers because of them. Now, we are all gathered here to witness and render words to ourselves as we finally complete the four years of struggle in our junior high school lives. My fellow completers, we did it. We all accomplished one of the major early milestones of our lives. We're finally moving up. We all worked hard to get this day, and thank God, our work did not go to waste. I know that all of us are so happy because we're finally done with our junior high school lives, despite of all the hardships that we encountered. Even if there's a pandemic, all of us are still fighting. The tears and sweat that we had, those days that we experienced difficulties, especially those days that we are in modular distance learning were not wasted. Those struggles strengthened us and brought us to this special day of ours. We all know that the most significant event in a student's life is none other than graduation. And those students who have worked hard in their studies deserve this. All of us deserve this day and deserve to receive diploma as a reward to ourselves because of the hard work that we did. This reward will last forever. It is a wonderful tool in this world, a key that opens many doors of opportunity for anyone who is lucky enough to have one. Since this is the end of our junior high school lives, I know that it brings us a mixture of joy and pain. We are happy to have accomplished our goals, but we are sad to say goodbye to our teachers and friends, especially to our dear alma mater, who has become a part of our lives. But, fellow completers, this is not the end. Rather, just a step over as we proceed to the next chapter of our story towards our dreams. Moving up is not an end goal in itself. It is instead a part of the larger journey of life. Wherever our future takes us, let it take us somewhere. This should serve us such a launching point, projecting us to wherever our future meant to take us. Life is a journey, and all the accomplishments we achieve should be taken as starting point for further achievements. We are about to finish our junior high school, and this makes us feel so proud. But as I was saying, it is not the end. We have another two years in senior high school to enjoy in order for us to reach our goals and finally go to college. 
fellow completers, even if we are about to depart from our dear alma mater, leave our teachers, classmates, and schoolmates, we should never forget that we are still part of each other. Wherever we go, we should never forget to still care for each other. May our moving up brings us for improvement. May our friendships remain as we go through different roads. We shall see each other as we go through the road of succession. And so, my dear parents, honored guests, on behalf of the completers of school year 2021-2022, it is my pleasure to welcome you to witness this year's moving up ceremony. Very soon, we shall march on stage to receive our awards and diplomas. My dear classmates, fellow completers, I wish you all good luck for the coming years of our lives. May the years to come be kind to all of us. May God in His wisdom guide and bless us. Thank you very much to all of you. Once again, welcome and good morning. My warmest greetings to all the school officials, administrators, faculty members, and advisors, teachers, parents, and guardians of the graduates and completers of school year 2021-2023. On behalf of the Department of Education, or DepEd, I am proud to celebrate the successes, the milestones, and achievements of this batch of graduates and promoted students in this year end of school rights with the theme K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. In the past six years, we committed our mandate to enhance the quality of education broaden its access, and ensure its relevance in the rapidly changing world. DepEd endeavored to address each challenge by instituting programs and reforms in the department. We have fully implemented the K-12 curriculum and the aggressive reforms of Sulung Educalidad to produce globally competitive learners and teachers. We also expanded our mission for accessible education by strengthening the alternative learning system, or ALS, and the last mile schools programs to reach more Filipinos. Likewise, we also established the National Academy of Sports and Education Futures Unit to create more opportunities for our learners to anticipate the future of the education system in the country. Committed to sustaining the momentum, the department has developed and implemented the Basic Education Learning Continuity Program, or BELCP, where we offered various learning modalities and produced award-winning initiatives such as DepEd TV, DepEd Commons at the height of the pandemic. Eventually, the department held its grounds against an unprecedented challenge in basic education as we progressively expand the reintroduction of face-to-face -face classes in the country. Indeed, education is a shared responsibility. This is why we express our utmost appreciation to our dear parents and teachers for being our partners in nurturing the youth throughout the years. To the class of 2022, resilience is in your blood. You have survived one of the toughest times in human history, yet still embraced education as your primary tool to success. I believe that with your passion and purpose, you can reach your dreams, 
and change the world. May you keep on harnessing and imparting wisdom as together we will build a nation of competent global citizens and future leaders as well as good Filipino citizens. Thank you. Madayao Davao, as our school year ends, we again claim victory. We have prevailed over challenges and adversities. Our character, tried and tested by tough times, has become a milestone that all of us have treasured and cherished. Our light shines the brightest as our indomitable spirit reign over our fears. This year's theme, Pursuing Dreams and Fostering Resilience in the Face of Adversity, catalyzes our victory and struggle in coping with the pandemic. Given this, we have once again recognized the crucial role of education in achieving our goals in life. We dream. We dream because dreams define our meaning in life. Pursuing our dreams and meeting challenges tested our strength and our faith in ourselves. Our journey is interrupted with trials and challenges. The pandemic that we have experienced for more than two years now has changed our lives. But we kept our hopes high and held on to our dreams. Now we have emerged triumphant. To our dear graduates, you have the ability to cope with all the challenges. You face the struggles of learning independently without the physical presence of your teachers at your side. You maintain a happy and positive attitude. The department, your parents, your teachers, and all those who have witnessed your journey are all proud of you. To our dear parents and teachers, you played a major role in the success of this school year. With your support and dedication, our learners are inspired and confident to continue learning. Thank you for your meaningful contribution. Congratulations to our graduates. You are the reason why we always strive to create and innovate to give you what you deserve. Continue dreaming, pursue your dreams, and have courage to achieve it. Carry in your heart the values that your parents and teachers have taught you. Good day, everyone. To the graduates of class 2021-2022, know that I am profoundly proud that you have successfully completed your academic journey despite the big hurdle that these trying times had placed in our educational arena. The COVID-19 pandemic has drastically changed the delivery of our education. The changes might have been draining physically, emotionally, and intellectually, but you now all stand victorious over the unfortunate circumstances. The challenge indeed was Herculean, but reaching this momentous event is a proof that your dreams and perseverance are way bigger. With this, you are the true epitome of this year's theme. K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Overcoming your fears and hesitations, during this historic season, at such young age, builds in us 
greater confidence that you are ready more than ever to become the prime movers of our nation's safety and development, especially in time of adversities. The concerted efforts of our department, your teachers, and your parents have been vital to your victory. May this serve as your constant reminder that you will never be alone in pursuing your dreams. There is no denying the possibility that you will encounter more challenges in the future, but gain strength but from what you were able to conquer in this extraordinary time. From the love of your significant individuals and from the unwavering support of this department to continuously lay the foundation of your success. Graduates, I sincerely wish you all the best. To the teachers and parents, I extend my unfathomable gratitude for helping our department delivers what we owe to these learners in this time of crisis. May the Almighty's grace of bounty and protection be upon us today and always. You are bound for glory. Go on and chase your dreams. Congratulations. If a man wants an education, he can learn all he wants. But if a man wants to prove himself, a diploma would be a tangible proof for everyone. Let your diploma serve as a reminder of the number of sacrifices, hard work, and dedication you devoted to reach this far in your education. Indeed, you have come this far. Because of this, you deserve my utmost congratulations for having successfully hurdled the challenges in your academic pursuit, a stage where not everybody is privileged enough to achieve. Amidst threats of coronavirus and other global and national issues, let us pause for a moment of felicitations. Enjoy and savor this moment until it lasts. I know the kind of feeling that sets in in happy times like this. But afterward, look back, remember, and give thanks to those who have helped make this possible. Don't forget that gratitude is the memory of the heart. New dawn of life, those treasured moments will bloom sweet memories, and the people whom you journey with will leave simple joy and yearning in your hearts. They will linger in you always and forever. As you forge ahead, you will experience moments of victories and defeat. Let your triumphs be an inspiration for others. Let your loses serve as your motivation to strive harder for excellence. Let all these collective experiences inspire hope to seek greater heights and aspire for higher purpose. This year's theme, Graduate ng K-12, Masigasig sa mga pangarap at matatag sa mga pagsubok, aims to recognize that despite the risks and uncertainty brought by COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the challenges it has posed to education, you remain resilient in your dreams to build a better future. Patuloy na maging masigasig sa iyong mga pangarap. Baunin ninyo ang mga mabubuti at hindi masyadong mabubuting karanasan at gawin silang motibasyon para abutin ang inyong mga pangarap gamit ang inyong mga natutunan sa loob ng ilang taon ng pag-aaral sa ating paralan. May your dreams and aspirations motivate you to persevere to achieve them no matter what challenges may unfold along the way. May you also use them to empower yourself and others so that we can together build an educated society where each member, despite individual, cultural, and re regional differences, may contribute meaningfully to nation building. My salute to your parents and teachers for paving the way towards the realizations of your dreams. Congratulations and babuhay, completers of Batch 2022. By the virtue of the authority vested upon me as the secondary school principal to of Gorgonio Tahoe Senior National High School, I have the honor to present to you these 51 males, 47 females, a total of 98 candidates for completion. 
I hereby certify that they have all satisfactorily completed all the academic and non-academic requirements prescribed for by the Department of Education under the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum. It is therefore recommended that they will be issued certificate of completion. When the authority visited me by the school's division superintendent of DepEd Division of Davao City, Dr. Reynaldo M. Gelina, six of five, that these 51 males and 47 females with a total of 98 students of Gorgonio Tao Senior National High School have satisfactorily completed the academic requirements of junior high school prescribed by the Bureau of Secondary Schools under the K-12 Enhanced Basic Education Program of the Department of Education. I hereby confirm that these students as grade 10 completers and therefore they are entitled to receive certificates of completion and enjoy whatever benefits are pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Here are the grade 10 completers. Grade 10 Bonifacio, Abyar Arvijan Negaspino. Agbon Francis King Galicia. Barsena Jason Feb Agbon. Bebanco Jefferson Ceballos. Boris Prince Ezekiel Dagmil Consilier Mark Bell Dugiles Gian Tanyanya Fernandez Joe Francis Saba with honors. Hementiza Clark Glenn Anastasio. Hementiza Wendil Francisco. Largo Raymark Chavez Arcon Manuel III Carrion Pitao King Remar Ababat Sanao Renz Abelia Sarona Ram Vincent Soriano Alberto Blazil Grace Agbon with honors Alcazar Rosemary Molina Askilia Jello Caputolan Bihagan Judian Barrow Bokoya Adelis Saikor Heldore with high honor. Kabugos, Jenny Marie Gucho. Castro, Catherine Lumaktod. Kugay, Nani Flor, Uyangoren. Hem
Galdore Christian Benito. Guatno Twinker Galieros. Lahora Angelica Laika Seattle. Manuelo Christine Bornales. Naagas Johnny Rose Apolistar. Perez Angeli Aguro. Rada Hana Kimberly Dabalos. Siton Ivy Jane Banyados with high honors. Grade 10 Mabini. Alberto John Lloyd Abregana. Alcazar Dither Molina. Alderite Stephen Gochera. Banyados Mike Handukana. Batikan Jovencio. With arms. Dumagit Jericho Dayag. Famat Joshua Hosol. Hementiza Clark Henelsa. Gomez Christopher Jose Israel Zomer Tibor Lagailay Ramon II Edai Lobitanya Louis Bahintin. Mercado James Michael Delphine. Montesilio Glenn Torno. Navarro Ail Tito Juanico Quijada Brian Seguera Sabalia Kelvin J. Rada Tinokbong Jenry Aguro Balderas Larami Agbon with honors Buchong Luisa Beatriz Oriasel with honors Cabardo Angelica Jane Heldore Kabugos Krisha Mitz Kabilitasan Kambalon Princesa Quirl Escario
Capote Mikaela Erika Samper. Jimentisa Charilu Fuentes. With honors. Largo Justin Antero. Lumintad Kim Ashley Tampoy. Mobera Hanilin Nagailay with honors. Boras Gwen Stefan Sumagaysay. Samson Yona Lee. Silvaliana Desiri Amor with honors. Taho Dana Lintadana with honors. Tanka Corazon Magonsha. Torres Alma Carmel Centillas with honors. Grade 10 Rizal. Agbon Carl Igia. Aranya Rosel Lagaylay Balanza Ben Jeffrey Ocho Kabilin Raymond Agbon Caminade Rico Ceballos. Del Dacan Del Mar Cabatinan. La Barcon Kester Kit Tabucon. Lawat Louis J. Abadies. Lokias Christian Price Saba. Montesilio A. G. Torno. Parcon Kurt Carion. Punzalan RJ Cordova. Tao Ayan Dave Libardos. Talo Talo Romel Heludo Ticon John Lloyd Patago Torrejano Gerald Tausa Tuko DJ Sangolian Ugo Johan Escoltz Villanueva with honors Alaban Laradin
Algones Angelica Joyce Cañedo Bartolo Renalin Ceballos Ganan Stephanie Gumahin Heldore Jean Caril Arisgado with honors Giangan Endrilin Redoble Ilondo Heidi Landau Harden Gwinnett Lagata Rika Caryon Monteo Kyle Ayesha Aquila with high honors. Okba Perlin May Vargaso. Ruiz Honey Rose Davin with high honors. Sabang Shaina May Alias with honors. Saludo Jelian Narcisa. And Tomas Ivy Datulaita. Congratulations! To our energetic, supportive, and active principal, Dr. Roberto R. Binag, to the teachers of Gorgonio Tajo Senior National High School, to the undying love of our parents for sending us to school, to my classmates and friends, good day. On this special occasion of celebrating our moving up ceremony, let me share with you these reflections of the basic requirements of success. First is the ability to dream. Second is the ability to work hard. Third is to never give up until we finally succeed. Despite the challenges that we faced today, our parents, guardians, had made a lot of sacrifices that made possible for us to finish these four years of junior high school curriculum. In today's very competitive environment, a good education is no longer an option, but rather it is to pursue one's higher calling in life. Today's workplace has become complex with the advancements of science and technologies, particularly in information and technology, with a tremendous impact in our life and in today's new normal. This impact has been making our life easier but at the same time challenging. The challenge is to know what is suitable and best and to know more of it at a fast pace. With the kind of learning modality, the Department of Education Implementation, we now have to start investing our time, abilities, and talents in learning new skills and by learning to adapt which will better equip our future. Let us make the best use of everything we have and we will be eventually realizing our hopes and dreams. As we are busy doing our preparations for the future, we do not forget to thank the Lord for the blessings and the trials that we encountered. The trials, however difficult it may be, is one way of molding and strengthening us into becoming a better person. As the author of the Your Throne book, Sam Nim, puts it, At first, it may be hard, it may be difficult, but that is how we develop, just as the flower wilts for the fruit to grow. As we celebrate this milestone in our life, I wish us success and may the Lord continue to guide our path in life. The four years we had were fun. Thank you. Go, 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 Gorgonians! This concludes the seventh moving up ceremony of Bergonia Tao Senior National High School. Thank you for watching.